My name is Paddy Crew, and I've written a book called My Name is Yip. Uh, and I was born in Middlesbrough, so I'm from the northeast of England. What is my book about? My book is about uh, a coming, I suppose it's a coming of age novel about a young boy growing up in the American South in the early early 19th century who um, through no fault of his own finds himself in a world of trouble shall we say and it's about following his experience from from being from his life being t- turned upside down to him trying to figure out how to fix that three words that describe my book if this was slightly difficult the i think um there's a lot of action so i'm going to say fast uh, there's a great, it's a sort of great, unique um, first person voice, so I can say fun. And I'm going to end with, um, I'm going to end with moving, because I suppose all books should be moving in one way or another. What does my writing routine look like? When I'm writing, I treat it very much like I would uh, any other job. So I sort of a sort of nine to five uh if i if i'm not doing other if i'm not having other to do other things but so i will yep sit down at the desk on a morning and we'll just sort of work steadily through the day having a small lunch break other than writer what would be my dream job well my dream job as a child was i used to play a lot of sport so i played uh rugby to quite a high standard so that looked like it was going to be what I was going to do. Um, but then I reversed out of that and started to started to read properly and, and sort of fell into that, into the idea that, that writing seemed to be the best way you could possibly spend your time. I distinctly remember reading A Prayer for Owen Meany by John Irving. Um, and I remember thinking... I sort of couldn't believe that somebody had managed to put this together um, <clears throat> and thought what a great thing it would be to be able to to be able to try and do that and try and make somebody else feel uh, the way that I'd felt, I suppose. In real life, what's my kind of adventure? I suppose you, you, you've just got to, uh, uh, you know, travelling. I'm not, I've never been one for um planning i'm not particularly organized on that kind of and my uh my geographical knowledge is so poor that um i'm normally one for just sort of you know a group of friends maybe you 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 go out for the day and you you see where you end up that sort of thing which actually now that i think of it is very much how i'd write a book i have no no interest in planning it so you just sort of follow your nose What's the best thing about being a writer? I think the best thing is is just creating something out of nothing. It still seems like a bit of a a bit of a magic trick to me that you can you can sit there and 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 have nothing in front of you and then by the end of the day you've got something there. I find I just think that's I'm not sure if there's anything more rewarding or at least not in my eyes. Um and it doesn't get old. You don't. You don't know what you're doing every day. So, uh, what a pleasure that is. What's the hardest thing about being a writer? I think the hardest thing. I suspect. You, well, you definitely do have to have an appetite for solitude in one way or another. But it, but that's not to say that it can't be. With you know so much of it, it can't be distorting after a period of time, and it's. You know, you have the same needs as anybody else does in any other job. You would, it, you have times where you would like you're sort of seeking approbation, and if you can't, I mean, there is no way of of having that in this job unless you 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 sort of feel comfortable sharing it with with a particular person as you're going along. But which doesn't strike me as a good idea. But you, you know, sometimes it's difficult. You know, it requires sort of huge reserves of self belief because. Nobody else is going to tell you it's any good. 
what are three books that have influenced me? Well, I do have three books here because I've just gone through my bookcase, so I can I can hold them up, and they're all very different. So I have Tom's Midnight Garden, which was a book I read when I was very young, maybe nine or ten at school, and I when I was writing Yip, I read a lot of children's literature with the hope whether this is conveyed in any sense or not I have no idea but with the hope of capturing capturing some kind of um some of that innocence that I used to feel as a reader when you were very young and you're sort of just plunged into this world and and it and it's moving with a with that sort of propulsive energy so um Tom's Midnight Garden is one we have the Wake by Paul Kingsnorth, which is a an amazing voice driven novel, which is obviously what Yip is as well. So um, I remember reading that and thinking, you know, so much there's so much you can do with with voice and and playing around and using using language in interesting ways. So um, that's a big one, and. Laurie Moore, who, although this isn't my favourite book of hers, but I think Laurie Moore is the best of the best. Um, and I could on, I can only dream of things Laurie Moore can do. What's the best advice I've ever been given about writing? This is going to sound slightly controversial because it sounds a little bit mean, but I was... I years and years ago I watched a video of the of the Cohen brothers talking about writing and I think it was Ethan Cohen who's talking about writing and he's asked a question about writer's block and he says rather tersely that writer's block is for lazy people um which you don't necessarily have to agree with as I say it sounds a little bit um rough and ready but what it did for me was I suppose, sort of demystify the process of writing. I think so much of it's, it, people get sort of wrapped up in this idea that it's a, that it's this sort of radically different practice than, than any other thing. And um, I remember thinking, you know, that it will, that writing like most other things you do will yield to hard work more than anything else, because it's, you know, the, there might be spells of, you know, inspiration and, and you, where you feel like you've sort of transcended some plane or other, but it basically comes down to, to uh, getting your head down and, and getting the work done. So that's the best, maybe the best advice. It is important where you, where you write something, it, it, it does um, influence or at least I feel influence uh, the whole flavor of the thing, the complexion of it. So I've got my friend had had this sort of old. I'm looking at it now, a sort of single uh, little Victorian desk, um, which opens up and has a little little area inside where you can stow away your things, and um, that's where I where I wrote a lot of it. Um, and it always felt to me, once you sort of sat at it, you could you could sort of put yourself more readily in, in his shoes. It's like you're always looking for little tricks or that you can sort of so you can slide more easily into your character. And that that desk is one of them or was one of them. Mm -hmm.